Hi everyone. I'm going to do a little short um, pre-cutting review of the auto jar chainsaw. I um, bought this saw uh, on eBay, a special offer for $94. It was $99, but uh, it was $94 with a special offer with free shipping. And uh, just a hair over $100 with my Michigan 6% tax. Maybe a hundred and one or two or something. I don't know. Um, the saw uh, started good. I put the 25 to 1 mix in it. Um, I'm going to run that for a couple tanks to break it in. Then I think... I'm going to go to 40 to 1, which other people that have this saw have recommended. Uh, this saw is um, 52cc displacement, rated output 2 kilowatts, which uh, that equals 2.7 horsepower. Um, it's 20 inch bar, and uh, the chain I'm not real impressed with. Let me see if I can get my finger in here. It is, um, does have a witness mark right here that uh, shows you your file angle and how far you can go down before you got to scrap the chain. But from every review I've seen on these, the chain is not the greatest steel. It's soft. It's supposed to be 325. Um, five eighths or i should say 0 0.058 by uh 76 links so that'd be uh 325 0.058 by 76 links and that's um i looked that up oregon lp chain uh it comes in that specification so i may try to replace it with uh some oregon chain well, I'll see how this does. I'll run a little while on this chain and uh, see if this is good. Um, everything uh, went together fairly good. The only problem I had was this back piece uh, wanting to stick out, which uh, on the chain brake and cover, that does that on a few saws. It does it on the Polans. Um no problem really putting the bar on. Uh, there is an oiler adjustment, which I haven't attempted yet. I, I guess it's supposedly this hole right here, but I haven't uh, tried to adjust it up or down. You, you're supposed to be able to turn it up for more or less oil. Uh, that's the chain brake. It's kind of stiff. Uh, now, um, I started it last night, and it took, with the switch up, this is always on, international on, this is off, uh, about 20, 25 poles with fresh gas. Of course, got to remember, the carburetor is bone dry. There's, it's not prime. There's not an ounce of gas in the carburetor. And it, any saw would do that, even with a brand new carburetor. But uh, I also didn't realize that, according to instructions, which I read after I couldn't start it right away, you have to pull the throttle in and push this throttle lock all the way in and let release the throttle. And then uh, pull the choke out all the way, which I did do that my initial starting. And uh, as soon as I did that, a couple pulls and it was running. So my bad. I did not understand the starting procedure on it. And once I did that, it fired right up two, three pulls. I didn't try to restart it. I let it idle a while. And um, it come with an extra spark plug which I thought was the spark plug. So I took the uh, cover off here and had to pull the air filter only to realize, yes, it did have a spark plug installed. And the one that I found in the toolkit was just extra. Um, 
I'll show you the toolkit. Comes with a manual and uh, couple wrenches, a scrunch. Let me uh, slow down here. And there's a spark plug, extra pole cord rope, scrunch, a uh, larger Allen, small Allen round file, I'm assuming 325, a tiny screwdriver to adjust the throttle up down the spark plug, little case. And uh, the manual, it's, well, of course, you know, it's a Chinese translation stuff, but it, I, it wasn't too bad to understand. So all in all, I like the way it revved up right out of the box. Of course, I haven't broken in yet. Uh, it seemed to run good and smooth. It idled smooth, no adjustment. I don't really think I'm going to have to adjust it, period. I'm going to run it a little bit and see. Oh, also the other thing it come with is this... Uh, bar cover which is uh, oh, a little kind of cheesy but it's there 